90% of all alligators die in their first two years of life, falling prey to other predators, including their own. But normally, they don't prey on humans. So why would an alligator attack a woman? Yovi Jimenez's fatal encounter is the first ever by an alligator in the Fort Lauderdale area. The attacks shock the community. Only 17 people have been killed by alligators in the last half century. But before authorities can make sense of the attack, another incident. This time, just north of Tampa Bay. Fred Ferderber lives on the bank of a small suburban canal. My wife saw what appeared to be a pair of pants floating in the water right out of her kitchen window about uh, one o'clock on Saturday. I didn't think anything of it. But the next morning, on Mother's Day, an unsettling discovery was moments away. My wife was still sleeping, so were the kids. I went to the street to get the paper, and Bailey, the dog that I'm watching, uh, bolted to the backyard. I said, oh, I better make sure he's OK. So I ran to the backyard. The dog had led Fred back to the canal. And I looked at it, and I said, well, that looks like a pair of pants floating in the water. And then just something clicked uh, that's not what it appears to be. So I ran up to the house, and I, I'm screaming at my wife, get up, get up, get up. There's something in the pond. I think it's a body. She quickly got up and ran down to the thing, and she said, oh, no, those are the pants I saw by those trees over there. And then their, her sneaker kind of just raised up out of the water. I said, oh, man, that's not, that's somebody's body. How did this person end up in Fred Federber's backyard canal? Authorities determined the body belongs to 43-year-old Judy Cooper. Like Yovi Jimenez, severe bite marks to Judy's remains also show that an alligator was involved. Incredibly, two women seem to have fallen victim to alligators just within days of each other. The odds are astonishing. Lethal attacks are extremely rare. But then, on the same day, a third victim. 